Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's episode, we're going to be talking all about smoke. And no, I don't mean this kind of smoke. I would never encourage anybody to start smoking. Bad thing to do. I'm talking about the smoke that might come from the tailpipe on your automobile. Now, let me just preface this video by saying most of the information I give you in this video is typical and can be applicable to most of your gasoline powered automobiles out there today. However, you get in trouble when you lump all vehicles into one video and there may be some differences between makes and models or the particular vehicle you're looking at or working on. What may be normal for most of the vehicles out there may not be normal for yours and what may not be normal for most vehicles out there may be normal for yours. So do your own research. With that said, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'd like to talk about normal smoke. I'd also like to talk about abnormal smoke or smoke that you don't want and the causes of the abnormal smoke or unwanted smoke. Okay, so normal smoke. Typically, most vehicles, and you probably already know this, on a cold morning, you first crank up the vehicle, you see this big poof of smoke come out of the tailpipe, and it does that for the next minute or two. This is normal, as you know, a byproduct of the combustion process that happens inside your engine is water, and that water creates steam when it gets heated up, and that comes out of your tailpipe makes that big poof of white smoke when you first crank it up in the morning and for just a little bit after you drive it for a while. Another instance of normal smoke that you may see come out of the tailpipe is when you really get on your vehicle. I mean, you got the pedal to the metal and the RPMs are just way up. What happens is your PCM or your engine control module will put a lot of fuel into the air fuel mixture and you may see just a tad bit of black smoke come out of the tailpipe. You shouldn't see it fumigate in the neighborhood or anything like that, but maybe a puff or two of black smoke and that may or may not be normal there. Okay, so abnormal smoke coming from the tailpipe. There are a number of things that can cause smoke to come out of your tailpipe. One of them is an overly rich condition. You're getting too much fuel into the combustion chamber, and usually that will come out as a blackish kind of a smoke. And I wish I could describe the smell to you, but I can't. It's just something you have to experience to know. Once you do know it, you, you can't mistake it for anything else. Also, Excessive amounts of oil getting into the combustion chamber can cause kind of a bluish, whitish kind of smoke. Oil usually causes a really light blue smoke to come out of the tailpipe. Also, you can get coolant inside the combustion chamber and that comes out naturally as white smoke because you're burning water. Now, a lot of times when you get the white smoke coming out of the tailpipe there, you, you'll kind of taste and smell kind of a sweet smell and you can almost taste it on your tongue. Uh, that's the antifreeze burning and uh, your antifreeze, as you know, it kills a lot of pets because it's sweet. They want to keep drinking it because it tastes good. Don't drink the antifreeze, okay guys? And also, I'm not condoning huffing your exhaust smoke. It's just sometimes you can't you can't help but smell it uh, at times. So if you do smell it, just put that in the back of your mind. If it's sweet, it's probably coolant. Uh, if it smells like uh, fuel, it's probably rich. And uh, if it smells like burnt oil, it's probably oil. Uh, but the, the colors do matter too. And they're kind of a telltale uh, as to what is going on and what is causing your abnormal smoke there. Now, what can cause an overly rich condition that leads to black smoke coming from the tailpipe? The answer is not that simple, to tell you the truth. But I will say that typically, if you are running really rich, vehicles past 1996, you should set a code so your check engine light should be on if it's working correctly, and you should have some diagnostic trouble codes to help you to pinpoint what the actual issue is and what's causing the black smoke to come out the tailpipe. Some typical things that I've seen are like sensors getting stuck, map sensors getting stuck one way. O2 sensors getting stuck doesn't happen on every vehicle, but sometimes if the O2 sensor is stuck lean, then the vehicle thinks it's not getting enough fuel, so it's just dumping some fuel in there. Also, your EVAP emissions purge valve could possibly be stuck open, or you could have some kind of a problem with your evaporative emission system causing too much evap gas vapors to get into the uh, intake system. Injectors getting stuck open, uh, incorrect fuel pressure, the list goes on and on and on. And I'm sorry guys, this video is not going to pinpoint exactly what your problem is and what it's going to take to fix your vehicle. But that's what the comment section is for. 
Maybe I can help you along a little bit further. I can't promise that, but you're welcome to comment down below and uh, I can get back to you and see if we can help you along a little bit more than just this video here. Now say you're getting coolant into the combustion chamber and you got white smoke coming out the tailpipe and you got the sweet taste in your mouth. You can kind of smell the antifreeze. What are some causes or what can cause that? Uh, well, the go-to is a blown head gasket. Typically, if your head gasket is blown in a certain way, it can allow coolant to get into the combustion chamber. Of course, that coolant is going to be burned and it's going to come out as white smoke out of the tailpipe there. You could also potentially have a cracked head or a cracked block. I've also seen where EGR coolers are leaking into the exhaust system and actually getting into the engine itself and causing white smoke. So EGR coolers can cause that too. Not a lot of vehicles have EGR coolers that have coolant going through them, but there are some out there. So just be aware of that too. But those are the typical things that I see for the most part as far as what breaks down and causes the white smoke to come out your tailpipe due to coolant intrusion. Now, what causes oil to get into the combustion chamber, producing the very light blue, almost white smoke to come out the tailpipe? There's a number of things that can cause that. Burnt piston rings, damaged piston rings. Also, your valve seals. Uh, typically, when your valve seals are leaking, you'll see some blue smoke from the get-go. Like, you, you just crank it up, and for the first, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, you'll see some blue smoke coming out the tailpipe, but it usually clears up whenever it's the valve stem seals. Also, faults with the PCV system, positive crankcase ventilation system, can cause excessive amounts of oil to get into the intake and, of course, consequently get into the combustion chamber, causing that blue smoke to come from the tailpipe as well. I've also seen where turbos start going out. They start leaking oil internally. Uh, it's not typical, but sometimes turbos can leak oil internally and it gets into the exhaust system right away and then you get the blue smoke coming out the tailpipe there. So those are just a few things that causes the blue oil smoke to come from the tailpipe. So that's pretty much it. A few takeaways from this video. White smoke, typically coolant or water. Blue smoke, very light blue smoke, typically oil, and it has an oily kind of a smell to it or burnt oil smell to it. And then you got your black smoke, which is typically an overly rich condition or excessive fuel. Uh, it smells like uh, almost like kind of like raw fuel coming out of the tailpipe almost. It's kind of a burnt smell too. So guys, like I said, this video is not going to help you diagnose any and all problems out there. This is just a very general, very generic video on what my experience is with these particular smokes that come from your tailpipe and i sincerely do hope that this helps you if your question wasn't answered with this video i do check my comments pretty regularly so comment down below guys and hopefully we can get your situation figured out or maybe point you in the right direction i appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe thank you